Okay, I've painted my nail with the base color, which is Sally Hansen Extreme Wear and White On. Now I'm going to take my striping tape and <laughs> nice dog hair. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my striping tape and I'm going to place the first strip diagonal across the nail, starting from one corner and going to the bottom corner. Just imagine that your nails aren't round and that they're square. And once I get it positioned properly, I'm going to press it down really well so I don't have any nail polish that seeps underneath it. Next, I'm going to take my striping tape again, and I'm going to place a strip right next to it with a space just wide enough for if I wanted to put another strip of tape in between it. Make sure you position it correctly. And if you don't on the first try, you can always um, pick it up and lay it again. That's the beauty of this stuff. So you get perfect even lines. And when you get that um, spacing correct, you can push it down. And make sure. There you go. So I have the first two down. And I'm just going to do the rest off camera. Alright, so you see I have the first four down. And I'm going to take my black polish and I'm just going to paint where the tape has not masked off the nail polish. Then I'm just going to peel it off while the paint's still wet. And I have three perfect black lines. And now I'm going to take my tape. As you may have noticed, a fourth line has magically appeared before your very eyes. Um, it looked funny, so I added another one. What I'm doing now is I'm taking the striping tape and I'm going the diagonal the other direction. Make sure your first stripes are dry before you do this, otherwise you'll pull them off. So I'm just going to take the first strip of tape and do it just like I did on the other diagonal. And try and make sure that you get a relatively um, even triangle at the moon part of your nail. So I'm just going to do the rest of those. And now I'm going to take my black polish again. I'm using Hasid, um, American Apparel Hasid, like I always do. And I'm just going to paint where it's not masked off again. And pull off that tape while it's still wet again. And now you can see you have the crisscross pattern. We're going to let that dry. And now that it's dry, I'm going to take my tape and I'm just going to mask off the area by the triangle just by lining up the striping tape with the last lines at the top of the nail. And I'm going to do the other diagonal. And cut it off. As you can see, it's not perfectly aligned right now, so I'm just going to lift it up at um, the nail, top of the nail and I'm going to straighten it out and I'm going to take my orange polish which I'm using CND electric orange and I'm just going to paint off that triangle that I masked off and it's okay if you get a little on your cuticles we can clean it up in just a minute just make sure you don't get it on the other side of the tape now I'm taking the tape off again while it's still wet so you get a clean line and as you can see you've got your design done and now we're going to take um, our top coat I am using such feet as always and I'm just going to put a nice um, coat of such feet on top of the design to seal in the design and make sure it doesn't um, smear or scratch or so it's lovely and I'm messy, so I got a little bit on my cuticles, so I'm going to take my uh, flat, stiff bristled brush, and I'm going to dip it in acetone, and just clean up around the edges to make sure I've got um, just a polished look. A little bit more. And there you go.